So I ordered uh, some more um, Battle City boxes. I think this should be the last uh, I get. It's just the the hollows, man. Um, I don't know. So I got four of these. I think that's pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to open them up. Uh, also want to show off. I just got this sealed mat. Um, all right, I have, I think, like three of these already, but not a sealed one. So that was kind of cool to get a sealed. All right. So let's start with opening these bad boys. Like I said, I got uh, four of these. Um, hopefully, should be the last ones. Uh, hopefully, right? Hopefully, I don't find the need. It's just the cards are so expensive now. It's like, might as well get the box, man. You know what I mean? Well, hopefully, you guys are already. But, like, yeah. Um, so, let's see. so, I'm going to open these up. Uh, just open them up and then I'll we'll go through the through the hollows and see what hollows I get. Alright. Yeah, it's to the point where like um like you could get I think like I think you're getting like you could get the comments for like I think maybe MSRP, like the, like, uh, so, but you don't get the box and stuff. I think it's my, I think it's like two cases now already I bought, technically. Like, I didn't buy them all at once or whatever. Then I just kept like this, like, buy four or whatever, like that at a time. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be, uh, I think two cases now. Um, let's see. It's kind of dirty, but, all right. Let's see. So, you guys can see I have a bunch over here as well. I'm actually using some of these as, um, like, um, what's it called? I don't know, like, to hold stuff, like, now. You guys can see that. I have, like, those are the boxes and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much, like, how I have everything. All right, so yeah, so you guys saw what I have on the side. I have basically like the case there, um, and then um, I actually ended up cutting uh, like the the top part so I could um, have what's it called. Uh, hold on, let me show you that. Yeah, so I actually cut up. Um, so this holds, uh, I think, eight hundred. It's an eight hundred count box, and I use I cut the top of the box so I could put this. I don't know, and then the, and, I, I, and then you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, uh, some of that. So this is just monsters. This is effect monsters in this box only. So I have another box like this of eight hundred of uh, spells, one of those traps, one of uh, I have the skills in the normal monsters in the same spot. Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much uh, bulk and stuff for deck building and whatever crazy ideas to come up with. All right, all right. So, like I said, we're just gonna open these up. You guys all know what's in these boxes. All right. So there goes one. And there goes two. So, oh, shelves. I'm kind of making these like a shelves or whatever like that. <clears throat> like little Yu-Gi-Oh shelves, I guess. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing with my Yu-Gi-Oh boxes, making them like Yu-Gi-Oh shells, I guess. All right, so we got four. Pretty cool. Uh, and like I said, it's to the point where like the hollows, might as well get a box and see. All right, so let's open up the first one. Let's see what hollows we get from the first one. All right. Oh, let's, ooh, the blue eyes. Always a good card to have. Um, pretty centered. All right. Spell Counselor. Um, Air Knight. Wahala. And Mass B. So the, so the blue eyes was a nice little uh, card to get. 
All right, let's move, move on to the next one. That's pretty cool. Blue eyes. All right. God cards, God cards. Ooh, a Dark Magician. No Woman a Cross Out. That's a good card. Foolish, another good card. A Tanky, a good card. This is, this was a good, a good opening right here. All right. Like I said, it's like just that. I think I kind of make my money back. I don't have to make my money back because I don't really sell. I suck at selling. I do have an eBay account, TCG Player account, and I don't really post anything. I'm too lazy to do this chipping and all that stuff. Uh, and then dealing with stuff. So it's like whatever. There goes to God. Ooh, another foolish. Bahala. Ooh, Jinzo. Cosmic Cyclone. Nice. And Metaverse. Cool, cool, cool. All right, last one. Let's see what we get with the la our last pack. What am I hoping for? Um, uh, I don't know. There's nothing really. I I have everything, so I don't know. Um, I guess the expensive stuff, right? <laughs> Got cards. Ooh, nice. I was thinking of Paladin too. Very nice Paladin. Uh, Swish Gaia, another Cosmic. And a bus player. Like, I, I was thinking bus player might be a uh, tournament pack three. If we ever get tournament packs, I guess, again, different ones. But I was thinking bus player might be one. And I forgot it had a hollow reprint already. So, yeah, scratch that. All right, let's move on. So, I just came back from my local car shop. And I decided to pick up um, a booster box of King's Corp. So, I'm going to open it up. I also got um, these, um, what's it called? Um, Lost Heart. So that's pretty cool. Vampire one. So let's open this bad boy up and see what we get. Um, what am I looking for? I I actually have a um, what's it called? A um, I call it a uh, Royal Flush deck. I don't know what you guys call it. I don't know what the actual name is. I just call it Royal Flush. Here, let me see. So this is my Royal Flush deck uh, without the updates. So it was more casual, of course. So you could kind of see what I had. So of course I'm gonna update it for sure. Um, just wanted to show you uh, how it had, what I had going for it. I think it revolved around um, like level fours. I think that's what it was, like seeding and polarization and stuff like that. I don't know. Oh, a hero lives. I had for um. Lento Hero uh, Prisma. So I, could, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing with it. It's been so long since I updated or even messed around with it. I think it had the. Um, I think it had a Zoldin. I think whatever that. I don't know what was the target. I had these al alphabetically ordered, so I think that's why. Oh, Mega Morph. I think this wasn't supposed to be Mega Morph. It was supposed to be something else. I just didn't have another one. I think maybe Fossil or something. I don't know what it was supposed to be. Um, I really love this card for the um, azole engine thing yeah so i don't know i forgot what it was what what was the purpose of it so i'm i must i would assume i would have had a um what's it called mm -hmm. i don't know anyways let's move on let's actually open these bad boy up maybe it'll come to me what i all right, ba, 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 ba. all right. So what we're we looking for, uh, we're looking to update our um, our our deck, and we're looking to um, get some good hollows, I guess. Um, Starlights or no, what is it? Um, like collectors rares. Uh, a must needed. Uh, what's a lightning storm? Those are always good to have. <clears throat> Let's see, seven pack, seven cards in this pack. <clears throat> All right. Oh, cool. Cool. So I get a rarity update, I guess. Upgrade. That's pretty cool. Uh, also, I have a magnetic deck. So I heard this is pretty good. And then let's see. If you control a magnetic warrior monster whose original level is a four or lower special summon level four or lower uh, magnet warrior monster from your deck with a different name than the card you control. Also, for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, magnetic warriors and magnet. Oh, mag manga warriors monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent cards effects you can only act you can only activate once per turn um 
Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I haven't played Magnets in forever, so I don't know if it's good or not. But I did it here. It was good. So uh, let's put the hollows somewhere up here. Get some room over here. Oh, cool. Rivalry. Uh, oh, scrap twin uh, dragon. I don't think I have this. I was actually thinking of making a scrap deck. Because a lot of the. What's it called? Uh, the scrap uh, refrigerator or whatever it's called. That was the most expensive card. I think that kind of like put me not trying to make it. So. Cool, 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 uh, Crystal Girl. If this card's no more special summon, you can activate this card's effect during the end phase of this turn. Add a level 5 or higher water monster from your deck to your hand. If you control a level 5 or higher water monster, you can special summon this card, but vanish it when it leaves the field. Uh, oh, from the graveyard, cool. Eh, like an extender, possibly, for waters? I don't know. I really like the Joker stuff. I, I myself play poker, so it's kind of cool. Voila. Uh, I think I have this. I only have one of these, so it's kind of cool. I think I was going to gain like a $10 card. You know, I already have this one. I wasn't really worried about it. Since already, I think like you maybe run one of these anyway, so it was whatever. It was $10, though, so it's cool to have it. An extra one. Kind of cool. Ties. Oops, bye. Voila! Oh, oh, this I think you get one ultra rare or two. Was it like two ultra rares per pack or something? I don't know what it, what it is. But anyways, uh, so that kind of sucks. We got a Doka. I think I already have Dokas, so that kind of blows having um having that as an ultra rare. But I know um what's it called um dinosaurs still seem kind of play and still considered pretty good card. This is the car I really wanted. Oh my god, it's been s I don't know why it's, I didn't get it before, but yeah, I, I wanted it. Uh, once per turn, you can attach one card, then target two set cards on the field. Yeah, it's not too great now, but it's pretty good, I think. I don't know. Infinite cards. Uh, I think I have this one. I randomly got it, and like I think it was like a 50 cent card before. Uh, like it's like you could, I think, do stuff with it. So it was cool. I, got, I had it before. It was cool. Reforms of the army, pretty cool. Cool, cool. Ooh, duality and Joker as well. That's cool. So I think this is like the main trap card for it. Or the uh, arch type. So that's kind of cool. So we will be able to update our uh, Royal Flush deck. That's cool. Probably have to. Um, Ula. Oh, cool. I think I heard this is really good and like generic, I think, also. During the main or battle phase, you may have to this effect resolves normal summon level 10 monster. No. Oh. Or if you control in level or normal summon a level 10 monster. Mm. That could be pretty cool. If you control a queen, uh, you can apply this card effect instead. Wait, during immediately after this resolves, normal summon a level 10 monster, or if you control queens, apply this of add a level 10 or non dark. I think this is where it's supposed to be like, I guess, um, like divine, I guess, attack from your deck to your hand. Then immediately after this resolves, you can normal summon a level 10 monster. Ah. This has like this is so generic. I well not so generic, uh, but like it's pretty generic and maybe worth running the engine. We already run like vanilla and we already run like uh what's it called? The Dark Magician and the um, the red eyes. I don't know, maybe it's worth it. I don't know. We'll see. But I like i I have to remember that card. Um potentially has some, some use. Grab it. Pretty cool. Voila, face card fusion. That looks that's more uh, stuff for us. So I just needed. I just wanted to buy one because all the all the um, uh, what's it called? Uh, all the deck stuff is all like um like super rare and stuff. So I could easily get most of it. I, so I just needed one box. See if I get lucky, and then just um uh, hit the you know hit the link uh to buy stuff at uh TCG Player. 
Oh, I really wanted this card. Huh. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this is one of the cards I really wanted. Uh, I have no idea what it does. I just know it's a uh, relinquish uh, support, and I think it helped. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I was thinking it was going to be hollow. So that kind of sucks. I was hoping it would be hollow. Maybe it's not that great, but yeah, this is one of the cards I really wanted. So this has a lot of, uh, like, casual stuff, and I'm a casual player, so this is pretty cool. And it has a lot of support for, like, uh, casual decks and stuff like that. Rose Princess. I think I heard this is pretty good. All right, this is the last card in our in the right side. Let's see. Collector Rare. Voila. Oh, cross. I heard this is not that great. But uh, as a casual player, you might be able to use it. Maybe if you try and, like, well, I don't know. When I, when I try to make a casual deck, I usually try to, like, it's for I could, you wanted it to win, right? So, it might, I might not even use it, just depending on what it is. Nice, another one of these. Cool, cool, cool. Face card fusion. So, I think there's, yeah, I think we're good. Let's see. Oh, what is this? Uh, Galaxy support, Phantom support. Let's see, oh, a lot of casual support. So I'll probably just end up buying whatever I need on TCGPlayer.com. Voila, White Rose Rabbits, pretty cool. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Infinite cards, Reverie Warlords, another one of these. Ooh, what? Oh, <laughs> this collector rare? What? This, guys, this is my first collector rare ever. I've been hesitant to, uh, I missed the opportunity to buy a booster box when it was on the, was it Chaos, whatever, because it was so expensive. Well, it wasn't so expensive. I just, like, everybody was selling it. At high rate that I wasn't, I didn't want to gamble. Oh, I didn't want to buy it. But God, do they look nice? And then there's Jack's Knight. I think if I was gonna get any of these, uh, any of the, um, what's it called, the cards, it would be Jack's Knight. That's awesome. Jack's Knight looks pretty cool. Well, not that the other ones don't look cool, but Jack's Knight is like the leader. You know what I mean? So I got a collector. Very nice. Whew. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Probably the, like the worst collector ever to get, but I still I still like it. Uh, wicked! I want you could probably I could probably make a deck out of this now with all these I got. Voila! Oh, Joker's Knight. Oh, so so this is one of the cards I need I think for the deck. The other one I think is an ultra as well. It's like a ritual a tribute monster. Uh, well, a higher like an eight tribute monster I think. And it's, um, I think it has, like, I don't know, is this the generic one or the other one? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, well, generic as in, like, as it could, you could probably do it with, uh, use it in other decks. You could send one Queen's Giant from your deck, especially on this card from your hand. And then you do this. Okay. Oh, from your deck. Oh, fine. And then you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do this card, name becomes that. That's it. That name monster, okay. So it kind of fills that role I was using for um uh for Prisma. I was when I was using the hero Prisma. Let's see as a like a name separator during the end phase. If this card's in your graveyard, you can target one other. So this is what I was thinking. It was kind of generic. During your end phase of this card in your graveyard, you could target a, a, one other Light Warrior monster in your graveyard shuffle turn deck. Add this card to you. Ah, never mind. Not, uh, yeah, I think maybe it's the other one that I feel is a lot better. The Queen one? I don't know. Let's see. Now we hope we get a God. Oh, I think that's my second Magnet. Uh, so that's cool. 
I already have two, so I just need one more for my uh, magnet deck. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Cool. Can we get a god card? Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, ah, kind of sucks. World Legacy Guard Dragon. I already have a few of these. I got it when they're like $3 or something. Nope. Nice. Ooh, Joker as well. I think I have my place at a Joker as well. So that's cool. Something that's something to worry about. Uh, oh, if you're spy. Oh, Rose. Cool. I heard it was bought out. Like, uh, well, uh, as bought out as it get as a common super rare. Maybe like a $3 card now instead of like a 50 cent card. You know what I mean? I don't know why they Cloud Castle. I don't know how it's going to be good in the future or something. Utopia Future. I think it was good at some time, right? Oh, another one of these. All right, so we have two more packs left. So that decreases our chances of us getting a uh, a God card. But I do like the Jack Knight Collector. Very, very nice. Saving that bad boy. Voila! Oh, Tinder. Is it Tindango? I don't know what that is. All right, last one. Last opportunity for us to get a... Ooh, cool. Another golden idol. Let's see. Rabbit. Cool, cool, cool. Wicked. Are these tens? Oh, I think it's probably my work in the... Whatever that is. Cool reprint. Come on, God card. Ooh. Ah. A Joker's well. Wow. Now I have too many. All right. I guess I got time to look at the TGG cart, I guess. Anyways, but if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. And remember, guys, don't talk to strangers. See ya.